Shalom, call Haloyim la Yahawa, Bahasham Yahawashai, Bahasham Rachak Wadash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well. Much peace and blessings to all you saints that occupy out there just pushing this 100% truth with all sincerity, faith, and with charity. It's your brother Ash from the great millstone, Miami Count, coming back with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahawashai, Bahasham Rachak Wadash. In this lesson, uh, low one and certifying real quick. I wanted to speak on something that I came across. Okay, on uh, you know, watching this show. This show was uh called "When Sharks Attack." It's a National Geographic show, and I saw something I found pretty spiritual that I want to speak on. Okay, and as we all know in this truth, those of us that have been enlightened. With, with with the word we we know who the devil is that the bible speaks of we know who who is the uh the nation the people that the heavenly father has indignation forever which is the nation of edom the nation of esau edom and we know who they are without a shadow without a shadow of doubt we don't need anyone to tell us who Esau is. We know who Esau is, and that's the so-called white man, the self-proclaimed white man, the, the American so-called white man, the European so-called white man, okay, the South African so-called white man. They're the devil that the Bible speaks of. And, and the spiritual thing is, I was watching this show with my son, all right? And then, you know, the show uh, documents different and highlights different shark attacks. And I was telling my son, you know, the sharks, they they like to attack Edomites. And, you know, I, I was telling him that. Okay. And the spirit led me to watch this episode anyway. But, you know, we watching the episode and. You had this one Edomite giving his testimony of how he was attacked by a shark. He, he didn't die. He made it, right? But he's giving his testimony. And he, he, he went to show his, his, well, this episode is surfers on the sea. He's talking about people, you know, surfers. You know, that, that's something Esau, they like to do. They like to the surfboard, right? A lot of them. Well, he was showing his surfboard. And when he was showing his surfboard. The bottom of it, you can clearly see that he's got Baphomet on his surfboard. Okay. He has Baphomet on his surfboard. And I was just telling my son how, you know, the sharks, they like to attack Edomites. So the spirit just, as I was saying that, the spirit confirmed it. Okay. You know, the animals are, are spiritual. The animals are more in tune with the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahushai than most people. Okay? So the Lord rose up this shark to attack this Edomite, and, and the Edomite proved why. Showing you that his this is a spiritual, uh, this is a, a physical, I mean, a physical manifestation of of the spirit of, of the so-called white man Esau Edom. They show they they show and prove every time they open their mouth, every time they 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 uh do something, they prove to you why they prove that they're Esau Edom. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm saying you don't need nobody to we don't need no one to tell us who Esau is. When you read the description of Esau in the Bible and you look at the so-called white man, no one else compares better than him okay just like it says in romans the eighth chapter how the spirit beareth witness with our spirit that we are the sons of the most high well on the left hand side the spirit of Esau, you know the spirit of the so-called white man proves or it bears witness with with esau it bears witness with with uh the devil okay and the most size it has been in the past and is going to continue to judge these devils in, in, in many different ways. And one of the ways is going to be through the animals. All right.
Now this devil, he he escaped this this judgment. He, he made it. The Lord preserved them. Okay, just like He's going to preserve a lot of these Edomites for for future judgments. The scripture tell you that the Lord knows how to preserve the ungodly or reserve the ungodly to the day of wrath, roughly paraphrasing. Okay. Which I didn't have uh, much scriptures lined up, but it's just something I wanted to highlight through the spirit. I thought it was pretty spiritual. Okay. But you could clearly see, okay, what's on this, this dude's board. Now there's one scripture I wanted to bring out. All right. This is the book of Genesis. Because going back to Genesis, we know that Cain, the first murderer of, of the earth, murdered his brother, Abel, right? We know that Cain and Abel came back in the reincarnation as Jacob and Esau. All right. So when you read about Cain. It's just, it's just like reading about Esau. When you read about the blessings that Esau would obtain, and and you know the the, the uh, him being cursed, it's the same thing. You know, we know how that goes for his descendants as well. Same thing with Cain, all right. And when you read about Cain in Genesis the fourth chapter, after what he did, you know what he did after he murdered his brother, the Lord cursed him. Okay, now let's read uh, one of the curses that the Lord put on, on Cain. Just like you read Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, and it tells you, uh, I believe somewhere around the 46th verse. If I'm not mistaken, it tells you that these curses will be for a sign upon the children of Israel forever. Roughly paraphrasing, so we know that we are the Israelites based just, just off Deuteronomy 28 alone. When you read those different curses, nobody fits those curses like we do. Talking about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, but just like that, you can read these curses that the Lord placed on Cain and you will, you could look around today and see who's the spiritual uh, descendants of Cain. Because remember that the, all the physical descendants of Cain got wiped out in the flood but those same spirits are back now today as descendants of esau edom all right now let's read this is genesis 4 and 10 i get to the point and he said what has thou done the voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground right the lord already knew that that uh cain killed his brother esau and the scriptures tell us, you know, when when you die, if you're murdered, when your spirit goes before the father, you you cry before the father. And you 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 beg for the Lord to to uh, avenge you of the person that 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 wronged you. So when Abel died and he went to the spiritual realm, he, he, he told on Cain, even though the Lord already knew what happened, but he told on Cain. All right. Verse 11. And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. All right. The scriptures tell you in numbers that blood defileth the land and it cannot be cleansed uh, except by the shedding of the blood of, of, of the blood shedder. So Esau is cursed because of, because of what he did going all the way back to Cain, but he never stopped. The scriptures tell you he had a perpetual hatred for his brother. He still slaying his brother to this day. So Esau is cursed from the earth. And it's going to explain verse 12, when thou tillest the ground, it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth. So the Lord told Cain, when you till the ground, meaning when you when you farm, when you plant seeds and, and you try to work the earth to to uh, farm and, and reap produce, the Lord said the earth is not is the earth is not going to yield unto her its strength. That's why the earth is is uh, so toxic and sick 
today in 2022. Why? Because the so-called white man is ruling. Everything he does has a negative effect on the earth. He does nothing right. He doesn't keep the land Sabbath. He, he does all type of fracking and drilling in the earth, uh, over, uh, over farming, overworking the earth, over fishing, over hunting. They hunt for sport. They, they dump all type of poison in, in, in the waters. And that's why they have to create genetically modified organisms. Because the earth is a, is against the so-called white man. You see a Jake, you know, especially like us Jakes in this truth. Uh, you know, especially here at Great Millstone, we like to, you know, a lot of brothers, we like to get into the, the, the elements, the, the, the earth, the stones of the earth. Amethyst, you know, which that's a part of our culture. Amethyst, Jasper. All right. Uh, chrysocolla, citrine, these different minerals, they're minerals, okay, which the scriptures tell us that our body are, ma are made of minerals, okay, we, we get into that type of stuff, but, but it's, it's different when Esau tries to do it, because the earth, Esau's spirit does not resonate with the earth, the earth is against him, the sun is against him, and so are the animals, so it's 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 no uh it's it's no marvel that a lot of these you know surfers a lot of these even my surfers be getting attacked by sharks and whatnot and then when you look at it spiritually you you see why the most i put a spirit on that one shark to attack that edomite and then the lord made him show his surfboard on the show just so we can see it and see, man, these these people are truly are the children of Satan. He had to put Satan on his on his on his surfboard, on his surfboard. <laughs> OK. Uh, let's keep reading a little bit more. But the Lord said a fugitive and a vagabond shall thou be in the earth. That means. There's no safe place for Esau. He can't rest anywhere. Everywhere he goes, he's wanted. That's why they 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 can't stay in one place too long. They like to jump from place to place and, and steal people resources and steal people cultures. Take uh change re reinvent himself. Take people nationalities create different names for himself that's that's what fugitive and fugitives do they have to uh get fake passports and fake ids because if they get pulled by the police and get their name ran they'll get arrested that's 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 what's happening to esau that's why he will never admit to being an edomite he'll never say yes we are we are the edomites of the bible because that would admit that he have to go into slavery, which, which they're not going to do. Okay. Verse 13, and Cain said unto the Lord, my punishment is greater than I can bear. Right. That's that Edomite victim mentality that they have to this day. They, they like to start up shit. But when it's time for them to, to be punished, they, 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 they can't take it. Just like today, they all this wickedness they did on the planet Earth. Yet they don't want to go into slavery. They can admit what they did was wrong. But if we tell them you got to go into slavery for putting us in slavery, uh, they, they, they can't they can't agree with that. Now, now we're being hateful. <laughs> you see that? Verse 14, behold, thou has driven me out this day from the face of the earth. And from thy face shall I be hid and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth. And it shall come to pass that everyone that findeth me shall slay me. And the Lord said unto thee, Therefore, whoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken upon him or on him sevenfold. And the Lord said a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. And that mark was stripping him of his pigment. Making him, him translucent, making you able to see his blood through his body. He stands out from every other nation. And just today, still, you a, a nigga could kill another nigga 
and they won't even investigate the murder, but let a nigga kill a so-called white man. Okay? They gonna kill seven niggas for that one white man. They showed you that in, in uh when you read about Nat Turner and different slave rebellions. I think Nat Turner and, and the people that was with him killed, I think I forgot the number exactly, but uh the Edomites, they killed way, way, however many Nat Turner and them killed, they killed way more. After they after they caught Nat Turner. So that just goes to show you this, this man is Cain in the reincarnation. He's the nation of Cain. Okay, which the name Cain goes back to the Hebrew word Quayan, which means a dagger. All right. So, yeah, this is something I wanted to bring out real quick through the spirit. Just, you know, showing and proving another clue, another spiritual clue that that these truly are, are the people of the devil. OK, and, and the Lord is against them. The spirit of the Lord is against them. The earth is against them. The animals are against him. OK, and, and he's, he's going to be sought out. The spirit of the Lord is going to search these devils out and expose them and, and, and put them down. OK. So with that, I want to say all praises. Call Halayim La Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rachakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and others a great millstone. And to the next one, Shalom.